So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. This one looks like a definition for a sequence, 48. If f sub n plus 1 equals f sub n minus 1 plus 2 f sub n for n equals 2, 3, 4, and so on, and f equals 1, f1 equals 1, and f2 equals 1, then what's f5? So let's understand this definition that they're giving us here. They're saying that f of n plus 1 is equal to the term that came up two terms ago, right? f of n minus 1. So suppose n is 1. Well, n can't be 1, n can be 2. So let's suppose n is 2. And this is f3. And this is f1. So f3 depends on f1 plus 2 times fn. So using the same example, if n is 2, this is f3. Let's just do this for a minute. Suppose n equals 2. Then this is saying that f3 equals f1, right? 2 minus 1 is 1, plus 2 f2. And you can do this with every value of n. For n equals 3, this would be f4 equals f2 plus 2 f3, and so on. Um, now let's apply it. We've also been told the values of the first two terms, right? The first term, f1 is 1, and f2 is also 1. And they want us to find f5. Now we could spend time trying to figure out a general way, but since they only want the fifth term, the fastest way is probably just to find the third, and then the fourth, and then the fifth. All right, so let's just do it. If n equals 2, this is the equation for the third term, so let's plug it in, because we know f1 and f2. So we can pretty easily find f3 by just plugging in 1 plus 2 times 1, which is 3. So f3 equals 3. Now let's find f4. I could write the formula. Oh, let's write the formula again. I know if you see this, you'll do it faster, but just for completeness, when n equals 3, we can say that f4 equals f, we're going back to this original formula now, f3, sorry, that's wrong, f2, right? Because if this is n plus 1, this is n minus 1, plus 2 f3. And now we plug in again. So f4 equals f2, which is 1, plus 2 times f3, which we just found, which is 3, so that's 7. And lastly, let's shortcut it a little bit for n equals 4 is going to give us f5. It's two terms ago, which is f3, which was 3, plus 2 times the previous term, which is 7. So 2 times 7 is 14, plus 3 is 17. Best choice is C. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.